What's happening? What's up, guys? Welcome. Welcome. Um, apologize. We haven't done a review in a long minute. It's been a while. Um, been busy. Been busy, but tax season's over. Mike's a, Mike's a CPA, and uh, there's not much recording during tax season, so. Yeah, it's, it's like my Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. But it's over now. We're celebrating. Yes. Um, so we are doing Daft Mill, 12 years old. Vintage 2007. Um, Daft Mill is, a, is a, a new distillery. A lot of buzz. A lot of buzz because just like, you know, uh, we love our Springbank local barleys. This yep. is this is as local barley as it gets. Everything is done in-house. Yeah. As family as it gets too. Absolutely, absolutely. Small it's a, shop, seasonal. Only twice a year. Correct. So operate. this one says the barley variety optic was grown in our south fields and harvested in the last week of August, 2006. It was then stored on the farm to be malted in the Aloha during the summer of 2007. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, absolutely. This is bourbon cask matured. Um, first fill, ex-bourbon. Yes. And uh, we know that it's a new distillery it's local barley and I, we know that they do things slow and they're not trying to mass produce. Yeah. Um, pricing on this in the United States is very high. The cheapest you could find it at retail is around 220, but most places is 250. So yeah. $250 for a 12 year old whiskey that's 46%. But again, it's priced high, high, high because there's demand, there's limited supply um, and there's a lot of care in the product. So it says, it says right here, they produce as few as a hundred casks per year. Wow. Compare that to like any other yeah. distillery. Yeah. It's a lowland. This is only one of 1,680 bottles, 12 years. Yeah. First, oh, and USA only release. So they even do separate releases. Correct. Regional. This is the USA only release and they do summer this and winter and this one's the winter. Yeah. And in Fife. Let's hit it. All right. Let's hit it. On the nose. Um, we've never had another Daft Mill besides this, so no. the you know First we're very, very yeah. curious. Absolutely, and it's just it's absolutely gorgeous on the nose. It is so elegant and silky. Um, it is explosion of citrus fruits, candied lemons, and then there's just this gorgeous honeydew melon note. It's just a really, really beautiful honeydew melon fruit, citrus fruits like um, grapefruit and orange as well. All very candied, all very silky. Uh, but my favorite note in there is that honeydew melon. Right, right off the bat, you can tell it's so like artisan, so like it's old school, so family. They took their time with it. It's like the difference between buying like store bought ice cream and when they whole make slowly ice cream. Yeah, and I think it's all the quality is there. It's yeah, so good. And I think the 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 part the, the another way to describe what you're saying Nuts. is the oily elements from the grain. That's what from I the mean. barley. It's like the most quality hand pick, like top one percent yield grain. You almost could, like like think of like the best wine. It's the top one yeah. percent of grapes. You can Same thing. you can really tell, and and when you're nosing this, Nuts. and if I just tell any whiskey drinker, they'll know it themselves. But if you just say. Think of the barley, think of the grain, and think of the oils, right? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, oily, almost waxy. Absolutely. And yeah, second, the fruits, yeah, light melon, definitely grapefruit. Even a little bit of like kumquat. Really unique fruits. Yeah, that, that beautiful, sweet oil, just and you pure get barley, a, sugar, Apricots oil. and white grapes and pineapple as well. It's really fruity. Yeah. Um, when you combine it with that, that oily and waxiness, a slight waxiness, but I like, it's almost more like a, a, a gr oily grainy kind of note. Right. In some ways, in some ways it reminds me of some of like the better Irish whiskeys. Sure. In a way. Yeah, that oiliness. Yes. Exactly. The fruitiness too. Yes, it does. Palette? Palette. Beautiful nose. Mm. It's so inviting, right? It's so, it's not aggressive, it's delicate. Oh. It's delicate, but 
it's vanilla ice cream mm. oils from that from that barley that barley man it's so quality then it's like barbecue sweet pineapples yeah. and that melon coming through and just citrus fruits citrus peel and, and and it's silk. It's just silky. That's why I said it's gonna kind of like bringing out a little of uh, vanilla ice cream. Yeah. We always say sometimes that lowland distilleries like Akintoshin can be a tiny bit on the feminine lighter side. This isn't even like that. This is like it's not a beast, but this is like refined, yes. precise. I can literally pick out just that that beautiful barley is the star of it, and all the fruits around that and emanate from that. It's I just, think more so more than anything. This, this is getting me excited for yeah. what's it going to be like when it's 15 years old? What's it going to be yeah. like when it's 16 years old? What's it going to be like when there's a sherry cask mixed in with, let's say, two sherry casks and four bourbon casks? The potential. What, you it's know, massive. there's single casks out there that we haven't tried. I really, really well, want to try them. Imagine now. cask strength. Yeah, yeah. And select it, not just the barley. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, bright, bright future. Yeah, and it just, it just really gets me excited. We're definitely going to buy buy more of these. Um, I'll take one more sip to talk about the finish. Well, that's why there's so much buzz about it. Yeah. And the price as well, not just the limited Well, in the UK, and... they're much cheaper, but they, 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 they don't last. They sell out before you can get one. Of course. So here, they're actually still on the shelves in the United States because they're so much more expensive. It's really expensive. I mean, come on, 250 bucks for a 12-year-old at 46%. Exactly. Yes, I know it's limited. Yes, I know it's rare and new. Right. But it's still a 12-year-old whiskey. Yeah, the, the family seasonal is still yeah. a hard argument. You know, yes. We only operate twice a year. Yes. People don't think that way. Yeah. I feel you. We well, want to support and help them grow, and they're not going to have any issues with that already. They're making yeah. great whiskey, and it's, it's, it's going to be known. Well, the quality's there. The buzz is going to justify the price very soon, fully. I think it's up. I think the, the, the finish isn't the longest finish. It's a medium-ish finish. Um, and that's okay because you get those beautiful fruits, you get that silk. It's like, it's like take honeydew melon and take like the best vanilla ice cream and then like stir it, mix it in a blender. <laughs> it's almost like, like a really good melon gelato. Yeah. Yeah. Italy. Yeah. And beautiful white peaches. Yeah. That's oh, gorgeous, man. Gorgeous. Like you said, though, like brand new to yeah. us, so yeah. much fun, like a new adventure. Yeah, I haven't had one of those in a long time. Yeah, it's it doesn't go all over the place. It just does what it's doing really, really well. I'm yes. not getting a bunch of spices. I'm not getting all kinds of crazy stuff, and I don't necessarily need that. This this whiskey really is like something that's just so approachable. Yes. You don't always want something complicated. No. Sometimes I pour a dram when I'm cooking. You know, I'm not I'm not looking for something crazy complex, but the everything going around while I'm cooking, right? And um, it's just it's just really done really, really well. Um, and it was exactly what I was expecting it to be. That's the thing. It's it was really perfect. what I was expecting it to be. Right. I have to be honest, the first pour, we opened it at, yeah, we opened it at the store. It was at a cigar shop. Oh, okay. Opened it at the store and um, we were like, this is, what, what is this? What's the hype about? Yeah. Went home, completely different thing. So probably yeah. just too much smoke and stuff around to be able to, Whoa, to yeah. notice it and appreciate it. You're doing it. cigars and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this to me is, this is an 89 out of 100. I really, really like it a lot. I really, really like it a lot. Um, at 250 bucks, I can't say go out and buy buy it. Would I buy it again if I didn't have it and I knew what it was for two fifty? Yes, yeah. I enjoy, I enjoy having this, and I'm okay with the with the price. Is it overpriced? Yes, but I'm okay with it. Right. I'm okay with it just because it, it it just really hits the spot. It's not a bottle where I'm gonna go buy two three of, uh, right. but but I I do want to now try the summer batch and and so on and so on. What do you think? You said especially when they get up in age. Yeah, it'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, very similar. I give it an 88 yeah. out of 100. So there you go. Excited Daft to do Mill. Stuff, man. Look let, out us, for it. let us know what you guys think if you tried it. Um, and uh, we will definitely be buying more Daft Mills. Cheers.